So, hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Cove Innovation Series where we interact with people who have helped us in some way or the other during the difficult times of COVID-19 through their innovations. Today we have Ms. Kashika Prajapat, one of the founders of the Co-Pal Plasma Donating app with us. So, hello ma'am, can you please give a brief introduction about yourself to the audience? Yeah. Hi everyone, I'm Kashika. I'm a final year computer science undergraduate at IIT Delhi. Uh, I'm also the founder of Copel19, which is a platform through which we connect the plasma donors with the people who need plasma for uh, COVID-19 treatments. Okay, so my very first question, which I'm sure many people would have asked you is that, how did you come up with this idea or the app? It was actually uh, kind of by chance. So before COPAL-19, I was working on medical facility tracker, which was basically to tell you where your nearest testing facility is or where your nearest hospital is and the stats of, of your area. So when I was working on that, one of my seniors, Tushar, got in touch with me. His, doc- his brother is a doctor in Ames, Dr. Abhna. And he told me about this problem that he had uh, while finding plasma donors. So uh, then we interacted for a while and we thought that we can develop this into a platform and that's how it started. Okay, uh, so uh, uh, I would like to also like to ask you that how does this app work from the back end? Because uh, the reason I'm asking this is because I read somewhere that the access of the database will only be with the hospital admin and not even with the app developers. So can you please explain how does this technology works? And that's actually pretty straightforward as in the database, uh, like you can access the database with the username and password and the username and password will only be with the, uh, the hospital administration and since the data is encrypted while it's stored, so it will not be possible for us to either access it and even if it's accessed, we will not be able to uh, like read it. And how are you planning to cover the server and the publishing cost? Um, actually, the app is not currently uh, working uh, because after the semester started, we had to stop. And uh, while it was in, uh, while it was working, I personally took care of the publishing costs and the server costs. Oh, that's quite interesting to hear from some for someone like me who's not at all into coding and all. Uh, another thing which arouses curiosity in me is that uh, how did you and your team manage all uh, this all as it started during the times of lockdown when all of us were uh, into our homes? So what were the challenges that you and all uh, your team faced? Well, uh, for, first of all, I would like to give a huge shout out to my team because this was all non-profit. That is, none of the people who were involved or I got like even a single penny out of all this, all with it was out of just goodwill. So all the developers, all the people who did the designs, everybody worked for free. And uh, basically we were from various uh, parts of the country. And as uh, we have our classes, we try to collaborate as much as we could online, but there were a few things that were quite problematic for example, everybody has different working times, and especially coders, you know, they prefer to work at night. Uh, so it will, it caused quite a bit of delay during the communication. But Alpit sir and Aksha sir took really, really good care of how things were going. And they regularly took updates and everything. So, yeah, it was difficult, but I would say I had a lot of fun and learnings as well. It's really nice to hear as there are hardly any people who like to work for free in today's time, especially when it's related to like app developing or something like this. Yeah, I, I was very, very grateful and lucky to find people like that. For this, like, you know, like in the times that you are most hopeless, that's like a ray of hope you find. Because pandemic was such a, sad time and I just felt really grateful and lucky to find Yeah. So as an entrepreneur, you always tend to have a long-term vision, you know. So 
how would you and your team would like to continue this venture after the covid situation is gone or are there any other ideas in your mind for the future which you would like to share um, and it's okay like one, if you don't like to disclose any ideas no no it's fine so one thing uh, like after uh, like i get graduated one thing i would definitely do is to convert everything that we have done into uh, like an open source code which will basically be i want to make a centralized platform for any sort of donations which will be open source so uh, for example there is just like code online the hospital whichever hospital wants to use it they just have to copy it and uh, like host it on their own hosting obviously i can't take care right. of they can so I, according to their use yeah so i would just like to make it open source because i obviously uh, can't take it forward much more than that because when it comes to donations there are a lot of legalities that come yeah and there might be also bureaucracy and all that no comments <laughs> Uh, also what do you think of the current handling of this covid situation by the government i mean definitely there are many efforts as well as flaws also but what's your take on this i mean like i think uh, india has done good uh, in its handling there are many flaws there are many setbacks that we got economically we saw our gdp so everything i think that you know nothing is right or wrong when it comes to making sensitive decisions it's all about the uh, positive things we get and the drawbacks of the decisions that either the government makes or the citizens make or like one thing i would definitely say is that uh, we can never conclusively say that what happened was good or bad so yeah that is not the only thing i would like to say one other thing that i really appreciated was that government uh, included technology into its handling that is something that was pending for a while that was very much like i felt very proud when i saw that there were lots of websites lots of apps rolling in even though they weren't like as good as they could be there were points where they could have been better but technology involvement has had always been a very touchy point before this a whole pandemic so i was really happy to see government uh, like spearheading the technology yeah uh, even i would like to say to the audience that uh, instead of playing any kind of game games or like that and sharing different posts on instagram one should really do something like you or you know create something out of their curiosity Oh, like Mahatma Gandhi said, "Be the change you want to see in the world." Yeah, exactly. So, uh, lastly, if someone like you or me, or say a fresher who has just been introduced to entrepreneurship and has some crazy or weird ideas continuously going on to into their heads, so what are your suggestions for them? Um, like uh, I. would not say i'm an entrepreneur i would just say i'm someone who likes to work on a problem any problem does that make me an entrepreneur i don't know so something related would, to your creation i would say that just go for it like one thing that uh, we as iitians or we as like engineering students uh, do is like we overthink a lot because we know that it's going to take a lot of effort we will have to like dedicate a lot of time and do a lot of very compromising things so that is why we always overthink and we will always think like very long term that okay i'll do this i'll do that i'll do that and then this problem might come and then we drop it because it seems infeasible at that point of time and we forget that it's not infeasible at the current moment so i would just say that if you have time and if the compromises are not a lot like you're not like like sacrificing your career or like really ruining your grades then just go for it a lot a little bit compromises are needed but if you really enjoy what you're doing i think like the satisfaction that you get when you have done something that you really wanted to do and when it forms now that's like the best feeling nothing like it's even better than submitting an assignment trust me it must be like uh, you know your child 
like you have yeah, like, taken yeah, care yeah. of it so much so like, basically it, it really like that yeah yeah go ahead so basically you want to say that we should believe in do it now as elon musk says <laughs> yeah okay anything else you would like to share with the audience or the students of itd um i i would just say that believe in yourself and you know we are the change makers of the world and also like the whole society sees us as people who will bring the change and even though the academics is difficult everything seems like you know we are bounded in many ways trust me when i was like working on the app i i faced so many challenges for example like uh some things can be done some things cannot be done there are legalities that you have to take care of people will like be very rude to you they will just like make you feel very down that's that happens so just don't let it uh, like bring you down because just you know one thing that i have uh, like noticed a lot in like students and like my colleagues or my juniors is that we think that everything will be like magically happen and like india will become a really great uh, technologically advanced country but no it's not going to take an action yeah exactly and just think about it we are the people who actually have the capability resources and enough i'll say contacts to take an action one thing i would also like to say is uh, during all of this i really felt privileged that i was a, a student of iit delhi because you know you have such amazing people at your beck and call like if i faced any problem any sort of problem that i didn't know who to talk to this problem you can just write to a professor one thing that we don't do is like interact with professors for guidance that is something that a lot of people don't do but it's it's like a privilege you have such so great mind with so great contacts and you can just have to write a mail to them so that is another thing that i would say just like go ahead talk to them cold mail to people who you feel like who inspire you and just do it just just do it and you will not regret so yes. like just to be open to everything new and keep trying and hustling yeah i mean like other i just believe that i like i personally think that one should never have any regrets we should definitely not overwork ourselves that is ironic coming from me but we should not overwork ourselves our health should be a priority but every other time that you have you can optimize it and achieve as much as you want so that you don't have any regrets later it's just as simple as that just like do as much as you can like everything is available on the internet one other thing that i hear a lot from people especially for i come from a computer science background so i was fairly uh, familiar with the technology and all but people who do not come from a computer science background they are like how are we going to learn coding we don't know app development we don't know machine learning i will uh, i just want to say one thing you are here because you know how to learn iit makes us go to such rigorous uh, academic curriculum we have so many clubs we learn how to multitask so i'll say iit makes you learn how to learn so if you are in iit you know how to learn just take up something just go somewhere be enough dedicated and you can learn pretty much everything i mean like just remember in 12th we used to talk about relativity and you were like only like 16 17 years old i won't comment on how good it was but we used to do that right so just believe in yourself and like learn as much as you can knowledge is always helpful so like uh, other than this is there anything like from the college uh, especially related to academics which helped you in all of this um i would say as i said earlier that like na- like uh, now we are in college so there would not be that okay i did a course on making an app for plasma patient that would obviously not be there because the fields are too broad but definitely since i'm a computer science major i was fairly familiar with like app development my uh, like uh, like how encryption works how do you like oh uh, like do modular coding and what is a good code what is not a good code so i was able to 
supervise people fairly well in that terms but again i would say for example i whenever i face any problem i just wrote to my professors i have such good like people around me so like who are really good at coding like they really like one thing i felt was that almost everyone i reached out to while i was facing any problem really wanted to help but were not able to help because of prior commitments so they made sure that i knew who to talk to and like how to get the help that i wanted so i will say academically i uh, uh, like gain anything but i would again say that if it was not for the academics probably i wouldn't have enough confidence in myself to go ahead and do it. Yeah, so yeah. you know if they indirectly helped you yeah it definitely i mean like everything that happened uh, like makes you learn so thank you ma'am for all the stuff you shared with us it was great talking to you one on one and i hope to see you again on another interactive session in the future with your new innovations yeah definitely i hope Thanks. i do really great yeah we hope uh-huh. the same too yeah okay. thanks again and from all- the I- iitd on air team you're welcome thanks for having me bye bye